Okay, here we are, the big deal, Mr. Turkey. I've got the slow growing variety, and I want to show you what I'm doing this year, and also go through the absolute definites that you must do to guarantee yourself a juicy, beautifully cooked turkey. So, first and foremost, I'm going to make dried cranberries. Don't burn your nuts. I'm always doing that. Right, I've got two fairly decent sized rosemary sprigs here. See what I'm doing? That's going to give it a little bit of fragrance, a little bit of a, a kick. So, a good pinch of pepper and a quarter of a nutmeg. One pack of good quality butter. And literally all you have to do now is scrunch it up. And you just get this bit here, get a spoon in there. See how easy that is? So I'm just going to quite crudely cut up a lovely couple. They're all kind of part of the same family. Just get some of that lovely skin in there. Um, jerk. Now, in the cavity, I'm putting no stuffing at all. What I will do, however, is put a bit of Christmas inside there, and that can come in different forms. Um, beetroots, tigers, giraffes, whatever. Even, you know, taking an Indian poppadom and just, like, <laughs> smashing it up. It's not going to stop the hot air getting in. What will happen is it will steam a little bit and it will smell of Christmas, and that will actually help flavour this bird in a nice way. So, I'll put the turkey in now. The minute I close that door, Roast turkey cooked perfectly.